hello guys uh, so today we're gonna see a very interesting topic of what a weld mint and uh, as using in thumbline the same product which we are going to develop now so uh, without wasting much time uh, we'll gonna start with the new part and I'm gonna select a part so here I'm going to create a now the base in the top so that uh, we can connect the structure first to create uh, the table so it's going to be a unique uh, by help of weldment or uh, futures we're going to create uh, such uh, i can say uh, industrial uh, table or we can use for a cafe or a restaurant it's going to be a little creative so first uh, we'll try to create a, a, a structure so for that i'm selected the top line so here i'm going to do this dimension somewhere around 250 mm and by 1000 so it's like going to be 1000 and 250 it's, it's overall length for us and from here i'm going to create a, a base i'm sorry this is the base and this is going to be a top so for that i'm going to create a 600 mm that overall height of the table so yes so here we go in the top line i'm going to select again uh, the same structure of the convert entity so here i missed one um, you know the line which i want to say you this this could be our oh sorry not infinity again just want to remove this yes want to make a diagonal yeah and also i will delete this and i'm going to do the same again and this i'm going to make as a construction and here we go it should be a cross it's again uh, we have a diagonally we are going to make these two lines opposite to each other so that when you create uh, pillars uh, between these two uh, it's going to be a twisted uh, geometry so now uh, base and top is ready so we are have to create uh, four pillars to support each other so i'm going to select a 3d sketch so i'm going to select this line now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to connect these two uh, sketches i'm going to select these two once you've done if you just go here and in, in the area and do the double click and left double click to tie so that it will get out of from that particular line from there we can go for another sketch a new uh, segment Here we go for that so yeah so now if you see our overall structure is ready so i'm going to come out of that now uh, so we're going to select the weld paint so i will select the structural membrane in order to create a complete uh, structural industrial table for that i'm going to select uh, square tube and that if you see uh, 20 into 20 by 2 so that to make sense or else if you want we have a different sizes and if you also want a customized you can also create a library and then do the customized size so here we go we can create a group for the top or a base so let me try to create a top exactly mm -hmm. So if you see this end of feature, I just want to close on the all the corners. If you want, you can also give a try with the different options we have. Yes. So this option uh, looks, uh, you know, uh, uh, promising uh, when you uh, look into a uh, aesthetic view, so that the dust is will not get entered inside. So that I'm just going to create a, a closed loop. The same thing i'm going to follow for the bottom as well so for that i have to create a new group so here we go yes same thing i'm gonna do the same process or a procedure 
to create the uh, base so now I'm going to create an, an one more new group to create a um, pillars or I can say supports yes so it will not allow and uh, sorry it will allow to create a four let the same groups yes so here if you see this advantage we have in this uh, creating in a single uh, a future where it automatically trims when you see this whole uh, four pillars got trimmed each other between a base and top so this is what we are looking for so that this is done now we are going to create another new group so to create this and this again uh, oops I think uh, we have to go for a new group yes exactly so if you see here this is how we have to uh, you know chop this uh, uh, tube so that it will be merged with this so that we can uh, while manufacturing or while uh, doing the welding so it will be easy for to merge with this first surface yeah so I'm gonna create another new group so I'm going to select this area I mean this sketch so if you see this are both are in opposite way each other yeah so I'm going to uh, come out of this future by selecting ok I mean I'm going to apply this so here we go if you could see here this is how this are trimmed and this is how this are being closed each other in this top if you see it's all completely it's a kind of enclosed or I can close to loop of the structure so our structure is now ready so now we are going to go with a twisted uh, uh, frame so now uh, I'm gonna hide this sketch so right now we don't have need to focus so now I'm going to create a, a, a base uh, base I can say uh, that you know uh, you can say a pipe yeah so for that I'm going to create a point and we can also give it, uh, go with a certain linear pattern or linear pattern and here we have a default axis that we are going to remove it so because this uh, point has to come aligned with this edge so I'm going to select this edge here and also I'm going to select this edge here so that each other it will be uh, before we have to select the entity patterns that is true yeah so here we go we'll go with the uh, 50m and size of 9 so that it will be eventually distributed up to here even you can also give it try but i will stop with the 9 and also it will we'll go with the uh, again 9 and also with 50 with a different angle yeah both sides if you see this are distributed eventually in the both directions so now i'm gonna select okay so i see this yes perfect so same thing which i'm going to follow with the top so that i can just connect each other after you know creating this point so i can i could say yes now i'll go with the linear pattern again and we're going to select this again the same like is going to be selected like this and i'm going to select the entity patterns so here we go with the 50 same and the 9 again here we go with the 9 and 50 ml so yes if you want you can also remove this instant count is not required like the 9 will be not visible and after coming out of this future yes perfect now it looks good so now we are gonna enable the sketch yes so the sketches are visible so this is, this will help us to connect the lines between each other so here are the challenge so in this point uh, we have to connect with here the same way this point has to be connected with here actually that's how we have to connect each other with between a base and top so now we are we are go with a 3d sketch again the same line so quickly i will try to create the lines yes so 
yeah go to go like this oh sorry or something it's like each time i don't want to move as i said like you go with this double click and come back to here yes sorry and these two lines are not properly matched i'm just going to select these two points to make coins and oh my god okay we'll do one thing oops there was um we'll delete this i'll retry that line by selecting these two points exactly come out go here repeat the process yes as you can see here the, the, the way of you know the two stitches coming here properly Now we are completed our test. This is how it looks actually. So if you see here, you know this uh, this uh, abstract uh, design looks very good when you manufacture and keep it in your you know reception or you know in the cafe. It looks like a very promising that uh, how people look into that way. It will be more creative. So now we'll go with. Um, a sweep so that uh, we'll select this uh, so now we are going to select a pipe a solid pipe or uh, you know even hollow pipe you can do that but uh, for now i'm going to do the solid pipe with dynamo so i'm going to select this pipe here we'll select a thing yes this is how it looks actually so even if you don't want to match maybe because we have to trim it properly the way how you want so i'm going to select okay yes so will enable yes so now we are going to repeat the same process oh sorry now have to start the circular pattern again select ok and repeat Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was some mistakes. Okay. Sweep. So the pattern and go with this point. Yes, that's how it was like. We have to go to the selection manager. Yes, we have to select only this point, particular point. And go. Yes, okay. Sometimes happens. It will show that like that. If you select complete okay, three sketch will get selected actually. So each time I have to go select and select this point and okay and go with that. So sorry. If you select this point, okay. Yeah, I got it actually. So this is the way we have to select manually each time. And go. I think uh, next time I would, would like to try with some mathematical to see how best we can do that uh, you know, by having some uh, linear pattern or something like that. We could have tried because this is uh, like you know where multiple times we need to select uh, all this uh, lines. So best way we can just try with uh, some uh, 
titles so that's how we can solve this or you know it's all about issue it's like a time consuming process when it comes here so that will be all the things solution yes select okay I know it was like uh, like why could I skip this uh, format? It's like a format format. Like you can skip this uh, process uh, procedure. Uh, like uh, just forwarding the video, and then you can see at the end. <laughs> That's how it was gonna save your time. Uh, sorry for that. Actually, so yeah. Now I'm going to do is this recent command where we can select these options, and I'm gonna select this. Okay, oops, sometimes this is working fine. Yeah, let's see. See, I know it's a lot of things. Um, there's some issue. So I can manage over for it that select okay. The final one, we are at the finals. In our final profile, yes, go good to go. How we go now? We'll hide the sketch. Now you see this design like it. This is how it looks actually. As you can see in this view, side view, this is how it looks. But when, when you see in this way, uh, in that you know, uh, front view, uh, this looks like an X, but when you make it as an isometric view. This is how this design looks like it was more uh, DND or I can say it's like a unique industrial design uh, to make sure all these designs. So you can now we can give a apply color and you can in the top you can create a, a wood to, to give this a more uh, valuable uh, product and you can also even sell it to, to your customer. So this is how it works actually. So uh, thanks for your time for watching these uh, design and the process uh, with all uh, the main feature so please do subscribe for a more interesting industrial uh, design or more future based on the SolidWorks design please do subscribe and like the video and if you have any uh, queries please give a comment below i'm happy to help you and happy to respond